I don't really make videos reviewing videos belonging to others. It's their video and they should have first opportunity to shit on bad officers. I was literally coming down from an anger moment while working on a video for another local hero in his own mind, Honorless Hargit, from my video linked on my channel here, who was about to retire from public tyranny, ugh, I mean service, and I wanted to give him a going away present to immortalize his worthlessness. Then this video was brought to my attention, and I just went right back into a level of angry that made my balls hurt. My comments, my narration, my opinions. If you don't like videos stop for narration, go to the fucking link in the description and watch it uninterrupted. Or just shut the fuck up, sit back, and ride to wherever it takes me. This is how I would see it, from this driver's perspective. And how probably a lot of citizens, I would assume, also see it. Off we go. Good morning. How are you, sir? Deputy Snell with the Sampson County Sheriff's Office. You got your license and registration on you? I do. All right, may I ask what the stop is for, sir? I'll let you know as soon as you uh, give me your ID. Good morning, I'm Deputy Dick Twizzle from the Fish and Wildlife Department, and I'm about to conduct a fishing expedition the likes of which would make a Captain Ahab chasing the Moby Dick whale look like a fucking five-year-old chasing a minnow at the local pond. Give me your papers, please. I'll let you know as soon as you give me your ID. I bought a translator from Amazon that's fluent in tyrant speak, and it says this means, quote, I'm not sure yet. I'm hoping to put you at ease so I can get you to help me find a reason to cite you or maybe even arrest you. But in the meantime, I'm also waiting to see if you give me the hero respect I wrongly believe I deserve before I decide if I can and will royally fuck you. You, who you work for there? Your, your shirt. Who do you work for there? Uh, your, your shirt. Who the fuck do you work for? Your your shirt and badge. It sure doesn't seem like you work for the people anymore. Delmar Oil Company. Delmar Oil Company. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. How long you been there? My ass. Why that is. Well, I'm just talking, Jim. I see your shirt there. I'm just asking. Is it is it is it wrong to ask you questions about where you work? Is it? Is it wrong to ask questions about where you work? I don't know. Would it be wrong to ask you how your retarded ass managed to walk, breathe, and formulate words into a fucking sentence at the same time without having a seizure on the side of the goddamn road? No? Good. Consider yourself asked. Well, I'm just trying to figure out what that has to do with the, with the stop. Okay. Alright, well, if you don't want, you know, just casual conversation, that's fine. Oh, oh no, oh, oh no, yeah, yeah, excuse me, officer. You don't want casual come No, fuck. Oh, God. Thank you. I'm so glad I pulled up in front of you, flashed my brake lights, so your retarded ass could come trudge on up to my fucking passenger window, request my ID, and have some casual goddamn conversation on the side of the fucking road. I mean, it's not like I have anywhere to fucking go, you inbred moron. If that were the case, I probably would have been just minding my own fucking business and driving on my way. Oh, never mind. That's exactly what the fuck I was doing, you jackass thug. Since I got you stopped here, you are driving 65, and you... You know, speed limit seven. I'm just wondering what's wrong. I mean, are you okay? Other than, I mean, are you, I mean, you okay? I mean, you ain't traveling five miles below the speed limit. Yes, sir. Reason. I'm just checking on you. That's all I'm doing. Okay. I got you driving 65. The speed limit 70. I'm just wondering what's wrong. Are you okay? Now, where have I heard that bullshit cited as a reason for a stop before? Let me see. Oh yeah, here it is. But I, I was checking yes, to see I did. if you're okay. Is there a frickin' pawn of primordial ooze somewhere I'm not aware of that spawns these fucking idiots? Or are they being mass-produced in apartment basements? For fuck's sakes, no wonder so many people are rejoicing at the thought of eradicating the fucking profession. Whether you agree with it or not, which I don't necessarily, this type of fuckstick might as well be working for the side shouting it out. I'm just checking, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you good? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, I sincerely appreciate it. And to be honest, I was considering stopping you for the same reason, fuckstick. I mean, I know you pussies with badges are constantly in fear of small puppies, 87 year old women you feel you need to tase, people holding cameras, some people holding anything you feel you need to shoot and kill them for, people sitting peacefully you fear you have to spray them in the face with fucking OC, so I just wanted to make sure you didn't see a fucking red ant or something else somewhere that might drive you to pull your AR-15 and mag dump into the nearest anthill. Are you okay, asswipe? God damn, moving on. Yes, sir. You good? I'm great. Awesome. How are you? I'm, I'm doing better than I deserve, you know? I'm doing better than I deserve. Well, you're right about that, dickhead, because you're a tyrant and you're still fucking breathing. Well, at least we found something we can both agree on. Next. Uh, you got, uh, paperwork for the vehicle? It's actually a rental car. The only, uh, paperwork that I have is via email. It's what? A rental car. I, but what were you saying about something? You said something right after that. The only paperwork they give you is, uh, via email. Okay. You pull it up digitally? I can. Okay. How long you got it for? Uh, until I decide to take it back. Oh, okay. They, they don't have like a scheduled day to return it? 
Uh, they do, but um, unfortunately for my schedule right now, it's, um, I'm not able to. You still live in Clayton? I do. Okay. What's Pungo Court off of? Uh, it's off of Seven. There you go. Uh, what were you saying about something? You said, uh, something? I heard some words or something. Can you pull it up digitally? Oh, look, he learned the word digitally. I'm so proud of our boy in blue. Maybe next shift briefing, he'll learn the fucking words freedom so he can stop people from driving too straight in their lane and tell them he wanted to ensure they knew they were free. What a fucking moron. My other complaint here by the way, is that the driver allowed the cocksucker to put his hands on his phone. You better get that shit sent to the CDC to be tested for contagious disease and semen. I know, I know. I'm hoping the video ends soon, too. I'm about to blow a fucking gasket. It was due back yesterday at 2.30. Um... Okay. Okay. Where are you coming from now? Where am I coming from? Yes, sir. Goldsboro. Goldsboro. Is that where the office is? I'm, I'm trying to understand what, what, what's, what's the relation. What? To, I'm trying to understand the relation to the traffic stop. Well, I'm just trying to figure out where you're coming from, where you're going, mess like that. Where are you coming from now? I'm just trying to figure out where you're coming from, where you're going, mess like that. Here, let me fix it for you. Where are you coming from now? Well, I'm just trying to figure out where you're coming from, where you're going, mess like that. I just left your mom's house. We were gang banging your sister. Ask a stupid question, get a stupid answer. I mean, Jesus, holy tap dancing Christ, where in the fantastic fuck did this tyrant receive his criminal justice training? Is there a freaking Hitler Academy just for aspiring tyrants in that state? I'm almost at a loss for words. Believe it or not, I watched this trying to find something redeeming about this officer, this fucking douche, but all I keep hearing is the weakest attempt to practice ignorant tyranny I've heard in a long ass fucking time. So I have to identify where I'm traveling to and from? Alright, hang tight here just a minute, buddy. Notice this Asifer, not officer, Asifer, run away when he realized he wasn't drawing the driver into a trap, and it was a fucking trap. Who wants to bet he called a supervisor almost in tears, whining about how his training wasn't working, and he feels like a failure because he can't seduce another victim into an arrest or a more legit citation. The only thing more surprising to me than the absolute stupidity of this one brain cell reject from the ooze where we may or may not have all spawned is the fact that he didn't have three other cars showing up to back him up. He didn't order the driver out of the car for failure to respect his authorita and buy into his bullshit. And he didn't claim some sort of fear that many of these worthless imbecile tyrants claim when they realize they are getting the exact respect they deserve acting like this, which is fucking none. And they have to escalate to keep them from breaking down crying when they look in the mirror and realize their uniforms still don't make them heroes. Total disrespect, condescending attitude, public master mentality, refusing to answer questions when he gets called out on his lame attempts to interrogate someone detained for five miles per hour under the fucking speed limit. I'd almost rather trim my fucking pubes with a weed eater than have to listen to this pathetic salivating scrotum chaser on the side of the road for longer than 10 fucking seconds. I can't believe I've made it through this video this far. I don't understand, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, yeah, then you telling me I gotta identify to you where I going to and coming from. Like, that don't make sense, bro. Word, this man wrote me a ticket, bro. Like, what, you, what could you possibly have wrote me a ticket for? This guy just expressed what thousands of people per day feel. And it all comes down to three simple words. What the fuck? Next. Yeah, yes, sir. Videos there. This here's a warning, okay? No court date, no fine, nothing like that. You can throw this paper away when you get to the house. Ain't nothing to really worry about, all right? Okay, what was the warning for? All right. Have a good day, all what right? What was the warning for, sir? He didn't even say what a warning been for, bro. What was the warning for, the private citizen asked. Notice the public servant run off again? Cowardly, cock-smoking, ass-sucking, oxygen-wasting, two brain celled ignorant, rights-violating, fishing expeditionist shit for brains. Did you hear him say nothing to really worry about, all right? No, it's not all right, asshat. It's all right for an end-of-watch candidate byproduct of two mentally retarded chimpanzees fucking each other in the face like you and your sheep supporters, but not for anyone who actually gives a fuck about their rights and everyone else's. <laughs> Holy fuck. He didn't answer his question because he wanted to give one last reminder of his authority by tossing the fucking paper onto the seat instead of handing it to the guy like a human being and then running off. It was a passive-aggressive reminder that he is in charge. I'm trying to understand what the warning is for. For traveling under the speed limit, okay? Well, how far? How, how you fast are you is, is, What you say is kind of suspicious to travel under the speed limit when the well, speed limit is 70. 
well, from my I was traveling not, at 60, not, about 68. I'm not going to argue. So does this jackass stop everyone who drives less than 70 if it's raining too? Old people driving 65 in a 70, people not feeling safe driving 70 and preferring to give themselves more reaction time at a slower and safer speed. So now everyone who drives less than the speed limit is suspicious and a cause for a stop. And everyone driving more than the speed limit is suspicious and a cause for a stop. Wake up, people. You are only free because there isn't someone watching you. Because there are so many laws on the fucking books by these power-hungry tyrants that when they're watching, they can always find a reason to strip you of your believed freedoms. Oh, and that I'm not going to argue? Now, where have I heard that before? Oh, yeah, every cop ever that wanted to avoid having their feeble egos and feelings punctured with logic and fact. Moving on. I'm not going to argue. I got stuff to do, okay? <laughs> you little liar! I, have I, a I, good I day. do, too, when you hey. me, so I'm trying to hey. understand. I'm trying have to, a good so morning. I don't make the same infraction. I'm trying to understand it. Okay. Continue on with your day. <laughs> Continue on with your day? Did he just tell him to continue on with his day? Oh, you mean the same frickin' day that shithead literally just interrupted? The same frickin' day he just kept him from continuing on with by stopping him for allegedly doing five fucking miles per hour under the speed limit? <laughs> I think my head's gonna explode. Oh, I have a headache. It might be a tumor. It's not a tumor. Continue on with your day. You know what? I don't know if there's a statute in that state relating to driving five miles per hour under the speed limit being impeding traffic or some other such violation and cause for a stop. All I know is that by the end of this video, I feel like the dickhead conducting the stop should trip and fall into traffic on his way back to the fucking car. Yes, I realize this went long, and I should have let this one go. I apologize for stepping on someone else's video. If you want to watch the video without my interruptions, go to the frickin' link. Sub to him or something, for fuck's sakes. I don't know. I need a fucking dip. I'm all done here. Continue on with your day. Continue on with your day. Continue on with your day. Continue on with your day.